This is a review of the Letgo Technic 42128 Heavy Duty Tow Truck. Uh, I got this on the 2nd. Completed it today because I got it rather late on the 2nd. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, get into the review. I did a second, um, I did a first attempt, so that's why those were down. That one sucked because the lighting was bad. So, I'm going to redo it. So, I'm going to start out with the non pneumatic 2.0 functions. So, those in the tow bar. Um, you do have this knob to uh, turn the turntable. Uh, when you turn it left, it goes to the left, and you turn it right, it goes to the right. So, when you have a crash off to the side, you can just go retrieve that. Um, these are the uh, stabilizers. Front, little side, and um, back. Those are uh, those ones. So... I do have a test vehicle, so a Jeep, so I actually will be uh, having these things. So those do that, and since I don't want to go through the effort of picking this up, I'm just going to go over here. Um, and then this one raises the, um, the third axle, that one, I can't even see this. Now that one raises the tow bar. Turn it left and it goes up. Turn it right and it goes down. Turn this one right and it goes up. And turn this one left and it goes down. Hand of God steering knob. So now I'm going to get into the actual pneumatic functions. Um, this is the first one. There's only one switch on the side. It controls the um, the tow bar. When you flip it down, it um, it goes down. When you flip it up, it goes up. It is controlled by this air pump down here. Just releasing air there. Um, so, and then over here you have your, uh, switches for the, um, crane. This one extends the crane, and this one raises it. So I'm going to raise the crane. Already raising, I don't know why, but built up air pressure. That does happen. Um. That is really high. I do not know why. Uh, so, that does that. And as soon as you uh, deflate it, the weight of the crane just pushes that piston down, so. And then, to get the full effect of uh, this one, Uh, yeah, it does that. Um, if you raise this without um, lowering these um, spike things first, when you go to release them, it really won't do too well, and it will push them out by just sheer force. Uh, but to release them, you pull these, and then push those. So there is a little bit of a locking mechanism. You have to release these to push it forward. And then you just... Push them like that. So. Retract it. So. Yeah. So now. My test subject. 
the 42122 Jeep Wrangler. Um, I'm going to flip him. And he's going to be over here. So, you you got to turn the turntable. So that works. And then we got to turn it all the way. And then depending on the length you put the tow truck from the rescue vehicle, you may have to extend the um the tow arm, the the rescue arm. In this case, I do not because I position the Jeep rather close. Now, I'm going to flip the race switch up and I'm going to raise it. Well, I'm going to let it sink for a while until it is at the desired height, which is right about there. And then, you just have to uh, lower the tow hooks. And then put them like, I don't know, like on the roof or something. So I'd recommend putting them there on the Jeep. You don't have to rescue just the Jeep, but that's what I'm doing. Because yet I do have the Mac. I'm going to do a review of that like tomorrow or something. Because I do not have the time. It's like 8.30. I don't know why I'm doing this now. And then you're going to want to retract your arms. I don't have to have a camera set up, unfortunately. Oh, that tell her snap. You're gonna need two of these, so... Oh, yeah, I didn't put on that freaking number. I'm gonna freaking put them out all there and see where that goes. And since I do have quite the amount of slack on those, I'm going to put them about there. And extend this arm. I'm just gonna put a bit more slack on them now if you pull it in. Now, retracting the arm might just work by itself, or no. Since I'm doing this with one hand, I'm only turning one at a time. But that does seem to work. Oh, see, it rescued it. How oh, nice. And that completes my, um, well, that does not complete my, um, the thing. Now I just gotta flip that switch back, and flip that switch down, and lower that, and raise these hooks so nothing breaks. Um, Trucks of a similar size will have the problem of either the wheel span isn't big enough, or they have... Um, not enough pinholes, so, yeah, they sometimes just do not want to work. Now to test the uh, tow bar, um, I would recommend using these, um, the, um, the wire arms as like securing hooks. 
I find that actually really works. So, yeah, if you're angry that you can't uh, secure your vehicle to the uh, truck, just use these. They work fine. So. So, I can now take off with the Jeep on the tow bar. I'm gonna have to... Also, um, the raising of the tow bar does come in handy here. So that the Jeep wheels don't affect steering as they might. So now, you're ready to take off. You can now put them in the impound lot if they're parked illegally. Or you could, um, just save them from, like, a ditch or something. And with that, it concludes my review of the heavy-duty tow truck from LEGO Technic. Really good set. Love the new magic functions. And, um, please like it. Please, nothing big. Don't subscribe. Just like my stuff.